In this video, we're going to introduce something called the alternating series test. So the alternating series test. And the alternating series test is a really powerful test that you can use. And it can be used to show convergence. So you can't actually use it to show divergence. So typically people use this only to show convergence. So let a sub n here be positive. Then the alternating series, alternating series, and we have the following series. So the infinite sum, and I'll just start at 1, but you can start at any number, and it goes to infinity. So negative 1 to the n times a sub n. And just to be clear, you can also have something like this. You can have a negative 1 to the n plus 1 a sub n. These converge if both of the following conditions hold. So if both of the following conditions hold. So there's two conditions uh, that have to hold for the alternating series test. So whenever you're using it, um, it's really nice just like to number it, like condition one, then you just you know check it, and then condition two, check it. Really procedural, you know, if both conditions hold, you get convergence. If one of them fails, then you have to uh, try something else. So the first condition is that the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n is equal to 0. Notice that a sub n here is the non-alternating part, right? It doesn't have the negative 1 to the n. It's the piece without it. So that always has to be equal to 0. And 2, uh, a sub n is called non-increasing. So ba that basically means it's decreasing or staying the same. So a sub n plus 1 is less than or equal to a sub n. So it's either getting smaller or staying the same. So non-increasing. Um, let's go ahead and do a simple example. So let's say we have um, something like this. Say we have the infinite sum as n runs from 1 to infinity of, let's do negative 1 to the n times 1 over n plus 4. So this is an alternating series. It fits the form that we have above. And so let's try to use the alternating series test. So solution. So to use the alternating series test, you first should identify your a sub n. So a sub n here is going to be equal to 1 over m plus 4. That's our a sub n. So now you just go through the motions, so 1. So 1 says we take the limit, so let's just take the limit. Limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n plus 4. So this is going to be 0, because the bottom gets big really fast and the top is always 1. So condition 1 checks. Condition 2, you can just look at 1 over n plus 4. And you can see that the bigger n it gets, the smaller this gets. This is actually uh, a decreasing sequence, so it's certainly non-increasing. So you can just say it is non-increasing. If you wanted to show the work here, which um, is really not necessary, I guess it depends. You know, if you're if you're taking a class and like your teacher wants you to show the work, then you should show the work. But I usually don't care. But if you wanted to show the work, what you would do uh, is you would you would rename this f of x. and then write it like this, right, using the um, just properties of exponents. Take the derivative, check this out, this is pretty cool. So you put the negative in the front, x plus 4, subtract 1, so you get negative 2, chain rule going really fast. But basically you take the derivative and observe that the derivative is negative, so it's decreasing, boom, done. But again, um, you know, not really, I, I think it's pretty clear that it's decreasing, so I just say it. But if you wanted to show the work, uh, that's how you would do it. So both conditions are satisfied, so then you just say something like, thus, it converges 
by the AST. Let's abbreviate it. Alternating series test. I don't think I abbreviated it above. Um, you can go look. I didn't. Well, yeah, let's call it the AST. The AST. <laughs> Converges by the AST. So, uh, or AST. It's really AST because it's an acronym for alternating series test. So alternating series test, basically you set a sub n to be your non-alternating part. Take the limit. Boom, there it is. Say it's not increasing. Boom, there it is. And both of these are satisfied. You got it. Oh, something that's really, really important that I should totally mention. So useful. This is really useful. So if you're ever doing the alternating series test and your first condition fails, then you want to use the nth term test. So if, let me write this down, it's worth writing down. If condition one fails, use the nth term test. The nth term test uh, for, for divergence. Let me go ahead and, and do an example um, just to show you because this is really useful. Let's say you have the infinite sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Let's make it look really scary. Negative 1 to the n times n plus 7 over the natural log of n plus 7. Let's say, what is going on? Craziness. So if you try to use the alternating series test, like say you tried to do it, you would set a sub n equal to n plus 7 over the natural log of n plus 7. That would be your first step. And then, as before, you would go through your steps. You know, you would say, okay, step one, take the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus 1 over the natural log of n plus uh, 7. I think I, I typoed there. It's a 7. You say, okay, well, we know that polynomials like n plus 1, n, grows faster than ln, so this is going to be infinity. So it's not equal to 0, so AST fails. So we're in a situation now where the first condition in the alternating series test failed. A really common mistake is people will say, oh, it diverges by the alternating series test. You can't really do that. Okay, the alternating series test only shows convergence. So now what you have to do is go back and use the nth term test. So the nth term test says if you take the limit of this whole thing and it's not zero, then it diverges. So let's do it. So if we take the limit of this entire thing here, so n plus 7, ln n plus 7. And so what is this limit? Well, without the negative 1 to the n, we know this piece here goes to infinity. But this just makes it bounce back and forth, so it gets even worse. So it does not exist. So it's certainly not equal to 0, so diverges by the nth term test. So when the alternating series test fails, when the first condition fails, always go back and then use uh, the nth term test. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.